Who's your dentist? All right, another story about, well, another form of art. It's called crafting, and most of the crafters that I know say you should learn how to do it at a very young age. We're coming out into these neighborhood rec centers because we believe they are important sites for the community and for the neighborhood. And so we want kids to start thinking about their rec centers, not only for recreation and sports, but other educational opportunity. My name is Layla Cartier. I'm the executive director of Craft Now Philadelphia. Welcome back. We're uniting partners across the city to showcase the contemporary role of craft in the city, the contemporary role in the arts, and what it means to support the creative economy. We elevate other partners like the Clay Studio, the Center for Art and Wood, Fabric Workshop Museum, the American Swedish Historical Museum, Past Present Projects is a new gallery that just opened at Bach Building that is here today working with us. My name is Heather Mokhtadari. I am the founder and artistic director of an arts nonprofit called Past Present Projects. Our work is to create arts opportunities in historic spaces. I think it's important that all kids in our communities have the opportunity to experience creativity and make decisions that impact outcomes. And that could even be in the simple decisions as to what colors they choose for their project and what materials they assemble. I think it's important at an early stage to let kids know that they have the power to think for themselves and think through problems. And so much of art making is about being patient, not necessarily knowing the outcome, being creative. We're not only making things here on site, we're chartering buses and taking students to some of the city's best galleries, as well as some of the most like lesser known galleries. And kids are gonna have a full week of, of art instruction and field trip activity. The city is, is this wealth and um, resource of organizations such as the Center for Art and Wood, um, a way for campers and kids to um, learn about craft and art and experience the materials. Okay, so we're going to come over here. Even if they aren't artists, if they don't go down the creative path, if you're in finance, if you're a lawyer, there's always that little spark of creative thinking that will take you further. It's about way more than staying busy. We know that the arts um, encourage more civic engagement. Students are more likely to register to vote. Students are more likely to stay in school if they have access to the arts. It helps support them in other disciplines. What's happening right now in the city, the arts are even more critical. Yeah.